Hello and welcome to Project Guts. In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at the epidemic model that we've been building for the past couple lessons, and we are going to add graphing to it so that we can collect data and take a look at how our model is doing and compare it to some real world situations. So the first thing that you're going to do to add a graph is you're going to go to Edit Widgets, and we have a new widget, and in this case it's a line graph. We're going to give it a name, and when it's created, it always pops into the lower, uh, upper left part, so we can move it at this point, and we can also do some editing uh, of it. So in the Series 1, we're going to double click on that, we're going to rename it, and we can also change a color, and since we're tracking healthy and they are blue, we'll give them a blue line, and we're going to add another series, and double click that, and this is going to be the sick agents and again we can change the color and in our code they are red so we'll give them a red line and we can also add uh, change the X and the Y titles by double clicking on that gray bar and we can add the X axis will be time and the Y axis is just the general population count and that's uh, so we've edited it to the way that we think we want it and now we're going to scroll down to the world and this is where we're going to add code that is going to relate to our graph and we'll want to start off an in interface and we're going to need some blocks such as the while forever toggled and this is where we're going to put the graph block in there so that it's collecting and updating constantly and if you scroll down, you can start to see that there are some other data uh, types of blocks here. And we're going to get this one. We're going to add data to the line graph. And the line graph we already gave a title to, population of healthy and sick. And for what are we tracking? And in this case, we'll start with the healthy. And on the x-axis and the y-axis, some information is going to go. One thing that you'll also want to do is grab this block here, clear line graph, so that at the beginning of um, the setup it will clear that line graph. One of the things, so we said that x-axis is going to be time and we can find that in environment. We can pull out a clock and then on the y-axis this is where it kind of gets tricky to think about how are we going to count all the population in Spaceland. And the way that we're going to do that is through detection and here we're going to get this block that asks or we have to fill in some information. So who are we counting? And the only breed that we have are turtles. And within how many steps? And this, these steps right here relate to the Spaceland. And Spaceland is basically 101 blocks or patches by 101. And so what would be the hypotenuse of that? Because we want to grab, if we're counting an agent is all the way down here, or all the way in some corner, we want to make sure that they're counted. So 100 is not enough, and so to be sort of on the safe side, we put in 150 steps. So that will make sure that it's bigger than the hypotenuse there. And what we want is we're going to track it through color, because we know that uh, the healthy are blue and the sick are red and we will put in that information here. So we're tracking healthy, we're going to grab a color traits block and match that healthy to blue. And so this will allow us to have a graph that's going to update and track the turtles with the color blue. So now we're going to check our code to make sure it works. And one tip I have here for you is that uh, you do want to click run code, but oftentimes the refreshing is what will get the code to be activated for graphs, and this is specific to graphs. So let's take a look at our setup and our forever, and you can see that the scale is set by the program itself, and you can see that there's been a very slight change. Um, as they're going from healthy to sick and it looks quite dramatic but in fact if you look at the scale we can see that it's not so dramatic and it's adjusting as we go 
And right now we're only tracking the healthy and so we can see that their population is going down as the population gets more sick. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our code and you should add into your graph um, the code for the counting of the sick agents so that it can be complete. So just look at what we have here and think about it. Instead of healthy, we're looking at sick agents.